Hey guys, happy new year. I hope you all had an amazing holiday season. I hope your Christmas was great and your new year's was safe and healthy. And I cannot believe it's 2022. To me, I'm just like, wow, I can't believe this year, this past year is already over. I mean, thank goodness, because 2021 wasn't my favorite year, that's for sure. Better than 2020, but not my favorite year. Unfortunately for Christmas, my hubby and I got COVID. So like half of the freaking world, we were quarantined at home. And we didn't get to see our family. And we didn't get to see, you know, our friends and things like that. So that really sucked. But I just, you know, looked at the bright side that, you know, we didn't end up in the hospital. We didn't end up, you know, we didn't have it so bad where, you know, we had to be on a ventilator because I know there's so many people out there that are dealing with that and losing family members left and right. So I'm not going to complain. I was bummed about not seeing my family for the holidays, but you know what? I'm very thankful that I do have my little family, like my husband and my kids. So I hope you guys had a much better Christmas than I did, but I can't believe that It's the beginning of the new year, which means new goals, new motivations, new things that we want to put our minds to, and we just have to think of last year like we persevered through so much crap. Let's just be real. We went through so much crap from COVID to, you know jobs, losing jobs, you know, just whatever industry you're in. I mean, you could have lost clients, you know, things like that. Financial hardships, mental hardships. I mean, mental illness was rough last year. Even my own, I, I kind of, you know, went up and down with it. Like a lot of people do. And my anxiety was through the roof half the year. So, you know, I just, I'm just thankful we got through it. And this week and the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking about perseverance. So this episode, I just kind of want to touch a little bit on it and just talk about how, you know, it could be a bad year that we persevered through or a bad, you know, 10 years, 20 years, you know, like bad marriage, bad childhood, bad things that sometimes happen. And unfortunately, it's life and we just have to get through it. I know that sounds very raw and just kind of blunt. But I mean, let's be real, like, nobody's going to sugarcoat life for us. You know what I mean? Like, I would love to sugarcoat life for anyone, especially my kids, right? But honestly, crap happens, stuff happens, you know, last year, a lot of people lost a lot of people and, you know, they got through it and it's unfortunate and very, very heartbreaking to hear and to see, especially with the clients that I talk to and the friends I have and things like that, just going through the crap that they went through last year. And I just look at them like, you know what, that really sucks. And I'm sorry that you're sad and I'm sorry that you went through that, but you know what, you got through it and you're stronger because of it. It tested your mental health. It tested your physical health. It tested you as a whole. And you got through it, you know? And I would just say that last year, you know, some people had an amazing year. And some people had the worst year of their life. And the thing is, the hard things that we go through, like I've said in past episodes, the hard things that we go through build us up to be better people, stronger people that know we went through that crap, we can go through anything. And, you know, I talk a little bit here and there about things I've dealt with in my childhood and um, certain relationships and things like that. And, you know, it sucks to have gone through it. But honestly, if I didn't go through those things, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be as strong as I am. And I know that that's hard for people to say that, you know, if if you lost a parent or, you know, a, a, I mean, a, a sibling or, or a close family member or close friend, whatever it was, I know that's hard for someone to tell you. That's not what you want to hear. You don't want to hear, oh, yeah, you'll get through it. No, that's not what I mean. I mean that life sucks sometimes. 
And knowing that we got through something just reminds us how strong we really are. That's all I mean. I don't mean, you know, get over it. Like, of course, I would never say that to anyone. But sometimes life really, really sucks. And sometimes life's really, really hard. And it knocks us down over and over and over. And we're just drowning. We're drowning. And the last couple years, a lot of people have been just drowning. Drowning in debt. Drowning in mental illness, drowning in sadness and depression. I mean, tons of stuff. And honestly, when those people get over that, whenever they heal, when they get through their mental illness and, you know, they, you know, like I say, ask for help, you know, find help, you know, try and connect with people, even if it's virtually, you guys, like virtual conversations can still help you get through something that you feel so alone. So I definitely, I know that in-person is way better, like for therapy or groups or whatever it is, but virtual groups, virtual therapy can help you as well, if that's your only choice. But to get back on topic, I just know those people that have gone through hell and back, I know you guys are going to feel like, you know what? that year sucked or those two years or four years or five years or 10 years suck. But you know what? I'm a better person because of it. I got through it and I'm better because of it. Excuse my voice. I'm still have some lingering stuff going on, but, um, that's why I had to wait until this week to do, do, uh, my podcast because I didn't really have a very good voice. Nobody wants to hear me sniffling and all that last week. So basically, the next few episodes, I'm going to be talking about perseverance, and I'm going to have some guests. Um, They are people I know, um, but I love hearing people's stories, um, and I think it's absolutely amazing to know somebody that has gone, literally gone through hell and back, and persevered over the awful, awful things they had to go through or trials or whatever it may be. And one of the guests I'm going to have on is my husband. And we're going to talk about marriage and what we had to deal with or what we went through to get to where we are now. And we're going to be completely honest. We're going to be raw and real. My husband already knows, like he's all about it. He's all on board. He actually wanted to do this, so I think that's really amazing and supportive of him. But this next few episodes, I'm going to interview some people that have gone through a lot, and I hope that it can help you, um, you know, realize that even though you're a single mom or a single dad or you know, you just got divorced, or, you know, you're dealing with a traumatic past, or you're, you know, in limbo in your marriage, or your, you know, relationship, or whatever it may be, that no matter what happens, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna get through it. You're gonna have the support that you need. And always, guys, surround yourself with people that are your cheerleaders. Surround yourself with people that are like, don't take no one's shit, honestly. Because I could tell you right now, the people that I surround myself with, they are my biggest cheerleaders and they are amazing and they have supported me with every single dream and every single hardship I've been through. With everything that I've wanted to do to everything that I've gone through, they've been right by my side and I'm so thankful and blessed to have them. And if you don't have a support system or you have a support system that you feel like maybe this isn't my best support system, maybe they're not cheering me on, maybe they're secretly feeling like they want me to fail, like whatever it may be, like just know that your support system is such a big deal. And maybe it's time for you to get a new one. I know that sounds really mean and maybe your friends won't agree with me or whatever, but if you know deep down deep down in your heart that these people are not cheering you on and they're not, you know, like being like, hey, yeah, do this, go for this. In 2022, go for your dream. In 2022, do what you've always wanted to do. I'll be right by your side. 
if you don't have someone like that, it's time to find some new people. So for this next few episodes, I don't really want to call it a season because there's just a few episodes, but for the next few episodes, I want to talk about perseverance and pe- the, and then um, also my interviews with people that, you know, what they've gone through and things like that. And I think it's going to be a really interesting few episodes and just for you to listen to people and what they've gone through or you know, what my husband and I have gone through together and things like that. I just think it's going to be amazing and it's going to help people realize you're not alone. And that's one of my main goals, guys. One of my main goals is to remind you every episode that you are not alone. You are not alone in, you know, mental health. If you're having issues with your mental health, you're not alone in having anxiety. You're not alone in feeling broken. You're not alone in feeling that the world is ending or it's crumbling all around you because let's face it, it feels like that every single day the last two years. I don't know about you, but for me, I feel like the freaking world is crumbling. And it's hard to to maintain a positive outlook when so many negative things are coming, like going on around you. And I promise you guys, you wake up every single day with a positive outlook and no not all the time things are going to be positive not every day is going to be amazing rainbows and sunshine it's not going to be like that but when you have that perspective of you know what I don't have control over what happens every single day what's happening in the world I can control myself my feelings and my actions and that's it that's all you can control So if you take anything from this episode today, take away that you are in control of only yourself. You can't control other people. You can't control if they hurt you. You can't control if they, you know, do something that breaks you. That you can't control if, you know, your best friend is going to just not be your best friend anymore. You can't control if your husband is your husband or wife is going to cheat on you. You you can't control that. You can't. But what you can control is how you react. And what you can control is if you persevere over it or not. Because I know you can. You're stronger than you think you are. I'm stronger than I think I am. Sometimes I feel like I don't have any strength left. I have nothing else to give. But then something else comes along messes up my whole flow of, you know, this is what's going to happen because I'm a control freak. I've talked about this before. Part of my anxiety is I'm a control freak. So everything's like one after the, you know, this is what's going to happen. This is going to happen. And then something, boom, just messes up my whole plan. And then it's a domino effect. And probably until about a year ago, I would freak out and I wouldn't know what to do if my plan got all screwed up and then I had to fix it somehow because I can't fix it. You can improvise, which I think is a better term. Don't fix it, just improvise. Because when you tell yourself, I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix it, then you're stressed and you're anxious and you're like, oh, I have to fix this problem. But you know what? I can't fix it because I don't have control over it. But I can improvise and I can choose to react, not stressful, not anxious, things like that. And sometimes, guys, I have to have that own, that like, you know, the talk between <laughs> you and yourself <laughs> when you just talk to yourself and like, look, <laughs> you need to chill the hell out. It's going to be okay. It sucks right now. But you know what? It is what it is. Like us getting COVID for Christmas. I mean, I was heartbroken because Christmas is literally my favorite time of the year. Christmas and New Year's. I miss Christmas with my family. And I missed my baby sister's 30th birthday, which I was absolutely, I was more heartbroken over that, honestly. But you know what? I was just like, this sucks. There's nothing I can do about it. But I'm just going to go with the flow and just figure it out. And I chose to, you know, I cried it out for a little bit and I got over it and I reminded myself I have my health and I am... Get, you know, I was getting over COVID and I was getting better and my husband, thank God, was getting better and none of us, you know, we didn't end up in the hospital or 